Morning everybody, it's Luke John Harrison here, coming at you from South Shields. This is the first ever episode of the 3Ms, that's Monday Morning Motivation. I've decided to do these little <coughs> web clips because you probably notice when you go into work on a Monday or just generally the atmosphere on a Monday is pretty crap. You know, people are really low, like, oh, had a great weekend, got to be back to work, you know, God, I feel terrible, you know, roll on the weekend, you know. It's all doom and gloom and drone. Why? Why is it? Why can't people get up on a Monday and embrace it? You know, I, I know it's difficult. We've all got jobs to go to. We've all got problems to overcome. But unless you get the right mindset in, unless you think to yourself, today is going to be a good day. This week is going to be a good week. Then the likelihood is it probably won't be. Even if you know it's not going to be, you've got a bad feeling about it. If you're thinking positive, the week will be better. So, this first episode, I'm going to just be touching on embracing change and eliminating the negative. Two things in life which are absolutely mandatory towards success and happiness. Okay, right. First off, you've got to ask yourself, are you truly happy? In every single aspect of your life, are you 100% happy? If you are, fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing. But for the majority of us, me included, there's certain aspects that we would like to change. Some, for some people, a lot of aspects. But what we need to do in order to change is to incite change and embrace change, right? Because to put it simply, without change, nothing changes. It's as simple as that, right? Unless you change something about your life, nothing will ever change. Now, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's one of my favourite quotes by Albert Einstein. And it's completely true, because if you're not ready to change some negative aspect of your life, then how do you expect to get a positive outlook from it? It's just, it's not going to happen at all. It's not going to happen. So, I want to explain change, embracing change and eliminating the negative like in the simplest way I can. So... Okay, I'm going to put this into really simplistic terms. Here's a plus, here's a minus, okay? This is going to be a positive, and this is going to be a negative, okay? If you're a negative person, and you continue to add negative influences to your life, from here, there and everywhere. You have negative actions, you have negative reactions, you have negative friends, you know, you're just, you're generally in, in, in a negative mindset. You keep adding to this, your structure never changes, right? You're just going to be this. You're going to be a sad negative. Nobody wants to be a sad negative. So, what happens, look what happens when, if we put one little positive bit of outlook onto your structure, it completely changes, right? And you can become this, right? If, if you just add the, the smallest little bit of mindset, like, I eat today is going to be a good day. You know what? I'm not going to argue with such and such anymore. Because it's just not worth it. Every little, little thing that you can do positively changes your structure and makes you one step closer to having so much of a better outlook on life. Why shouldn't you be happy and positive all the time? I know we all come across situations that make us sad and negative and it, it, it annoys us and grinds us up and everyone has their own way of dealing with it but if it's all about getting the right mindset and if you can think right why should I be negative or angry towards this particular situation when I can just flip it around and actually be positive about the situation even though I may not want to be but if you continue to be it's gonna change your life dramatically even like that you can't possibly comprehend why, but I guarantee if you just set this little mindset into play, it will change your outlook on life completely. Why should Monday morning be doom and gloom? Monday morning should be fucking fantastic. It's the start of the week, the time that you start to make your wages, the time that you start to make the rest of the week great, okay? But there's gonna be a lot of people who want to take this away, who want to take your structure away because they're jealous. Negative people are jealous of positive people, right? They might say, oh, it's a load of crap, you know, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. But literally, it's because they can't do it themselves. So, who wants to be one of these? 
when you can be one of these. And the fact is, negative attracts negative. Okay, like I say, you will keep laying on them layers if you still be negative because negative people swarm with each other. You have a bitch about this, a moan about that, and it keeps going round in circles, and you will always be that. But this, on the other hand, everybody knows in mathematical terms this is an add and this is a takeaway. Okay, positive attracts positive, and negative takes away. Okay. The fact is, you might not think it right now, but if you start embracing a little bit change and a little bit more positive thinking, you're going to attract so much more. Have you ever seen some of these people on TV, or generally people that you might meet, like just a quick example of personal trainers, like the majority of them are so giddy and happy and they love the job and stuff, and it's not because their job pays amazingly well or that they've got massive prospects out of it, or they're traveling the world or anything like that. It's because they've got the right mindset to be doing what they're doing and enjoying it, and they're, they're working to change people's mindsets. And positivity is infectious. Like, I'm hoping that you're gonna like, watch this video and go away and be like, yeah, he was right, yeah, he's, you've inspired us, you've motivated us, you know, let's do something good today, let's do something nice for somebody. That's, that's the idea. And it's infectious because when you start being positive, and then one, one other person does, then they'll encourage two other people to do it, and they might encourage four more others to do it, and I'll keep spreading like that because it's infectious, but... Negativity is infectious too, if you roll around in this circle. This is infectious too, because you start being negative, a lot of people will follow you. It's just the unfortunate fact. But it's up to you to choose whichever one you want. That's up to you. All I'm here to do is try and motivate you and incite you into how that little bit of change can change your entire outlook on life. So, anyway... I've been Luke John Harrison. I'll hit you back next Monday with another 3Ms. Hope you've enjoyed it and peace out.